Okay, so I don't have a lot of time, so I need you to come in close. A little closer. Okay, so let's talk about grass seed. More specific, can you or should you be putting down grass seed in the springtime? To seed or not to seed? And that right there is the question we're gonna be talking about. Should you be seeding your lawn in the springtime? But more importantly, we're gonna talk about some real expectations that you need to look out for when seeding your lawn in the spring. So don't go anywhere, cause this video's starting right now. Seriously, it's starting right now. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I am the Lawn Daddy and this is Small Town Lawns, where I show you how to improve the overall look of your lawn. And on this channel, I'm gonna show you lawn care tips that you can use to take your lawn and make it the talk of your neighborhood. So if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing. So this time of year, a lot of people ask the question, should I be seeding my lawn in the springtime? So today I wanted to make a video to go over some of the pros and cons of doing this and also make a list of the expectations you should look for if you do decide to seed your lawn. All right, so let's start this video off in a positive fashion. Now, many of you are beginners or you're just starting out and I just wanted to provide you with a little bit of encouragement to help you move forward in your lawn. So I've only been working on my lawn for about two years and my lawn was filled with typical weeds and crabgrass and I really didn't know where to start. So I went on YouTube, but I started hearing a lot of words like tenacity and prodiamine and it really made me nervous to put any type of products in my lawn because I didn't want things to die off and then I'd be worse off than I was when I started. Sound familiar everyone? So instead of jumping in with two feet, I tried to stick to the basics. I tried to look at improving my lawn as a marathon rather than a sprint. And it really didn't take long before I started to see some real results. So if I can do it, all of you out there can do it too. So I just wanted to encourage you and realize that if something does go wrong in your lawn, we can always fix it. Now back to the topic of today's video. Can you seed your lawn in the springtime? The answer is yes you can, but your expectations have to match the possible outcomes. So what exactly does that mean? Well if I can give you an example, before I started YouTube, I moved into this house, I saw my front lawn, there were a lot of bare spots, so I said let's overseed this lawn in the springtime since we just came out of winter. So I bought a few bags of grass seed and I overseeded the entire front lawn. That year we had a lot of rain and as it went into summer, my entire front lawn was filled with weeds and it was filled with crabgrass. As spring turned to summer, I started to look on YouTube to see what I could do to fix my lawn. And a lot of the info I was seeing was fertilize twice in the summer and just continue to water and you can fix everything in the fall. I found that cool season grass loves fall weather and the work you do in the fall prepares your lawn for spring. So the following spring, I put down some crabgrass and dandelion pre-emergence, I sprayed the weeds at the proper time, I watered throughout the summer, and the next fall I saw huge improvements in my lawn. When we try to improve our lawns, you're gonna have some instant results, some huge successes. But as you just heard from my story, not everything is gonna be a success. You are gonna have some failures, and that's okay. You need to push through your failures, learn a different strategy, and turn them into your success stories. How to put down grass seed, and what steps do you need to take to do it? Well, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do it right now. Now, this is a special moment for me. My son is gonna help me out, and I've officially named him the Lawn Kid. So, the only thing left to do now is to walk out into the yard and cue the slow motion walk. Now, your lawn is just coming out of winter and there may be a lot of debris on your lawn. So, the first step you want to do is to rake all of this up. By raking up all the debris in your lawn, you're going to accomplish two things. The first thing is to clean up all the sticks and leaves that might have fallen during the winter. By doing this, you're going to allow the seed to sit directly on the soil and it'll increase germination. The second thing you're doing is providing airflow to the lawn. It's been matted down under the snow all winter and you're allowing airflow to get in to help stimulate growth. Now, depending on the area that you want to see, you can either drop the grass down by hand or you can put it in a spreader like I'm going to show you here. Now, typically you don't want to seed an area this large in the spring, but I'm tired of looking at bare ground and if any crabgrass or weeds emerge, I'll just fix it in the fall. The next step you're going to want to do is to cover all the grass seed in peat moss. Now, throwing down peat moss will accomplish two things. One, it'll help the birds from eating up all the grass seed. And two, peat moss will hold in moisture, which will help germinate your seed faster. 
Okay, so your graph seat is down and you've done everything I've just mentioned. Now let's talk about what you need to know and what you can expect going through the summer and into fall. So typically every spring as the temperatures warm up, you want to put down pre-emergent to stop crabgrass and dandelions from coming up in your lawn. And you typically want to do this before your soil temp hits 55 degrees. And what this pre-emergent does is simply put a barrier over your lawn so when crabgrass and dandelions emerge, it gets killed off right away. When we seed our lawns in the springtime, you can't put down a pre-emergent for crabgrass as the pre-emergent can't tell the difference between a crabgrass seed and a normal grass seed. Now, there are a few products that you can put down and I'll talk about that more in a minute. Or you don't have to put anything down and you can fix it in the fall. Next thing I want to talk about is germination temperatures. Now, cool season lawns love fall weather. The soil has been warm all summer, and going into fall, it's warm during the day and cooler temperatures at night. When seeding in the springtime, you're coming out of winter, which means that it's cool during the day and cold at night. How many times in early spring do we say, finally, this nice weather is here, and then we have a hard freeze, and it can kill off all the grass seed you just put down. The next thing you need to know about seeding in the springtime is going into the dog days of summer. Typically cool season grass doesn't like the summer heat. I mean they call it sissy grass for a reason. Even if you have an established lawn, it can be a challenge to keep up with watering throughout the summer months. Typically your lawn needs about an inch of water a week. So you're going to need to keep up with the demands of watering throughout the summer months. You don't want that new grass to dry out and die off and then you're going to have to start all over again in the fall. Now, if you don't have an irrigation system, it's even more of a challenge to keep up with the watering demands just by using a sprinkler. But if you need some sprinkler ideas, I'll put a video up in the eye and show you how to build your own above ground sprinkler system, quick, easy, and it won't break the bank. So you've heard all this information now and you still tell yourself, I'm still going to try to seed my lawn in the spring and if it doesn't work out, well, I can always fix it in the fall. Now, there are some products that you can use. You can put down some tenacity. However, if you're just starting out, you might want to use a Scott's Turf Builder for starter grass. Now, what that contains is some weed preventative, and it has the same ingredients as tenacity. Now, if you're interested in using any of these products, I'll put a link down in the description below for something that you can use. With any lawn renovation, you want to plan for success. In this case, when you seed in the spring, you will have seeds germinate. However, you will have weeds that come along with it. But the most important thing you want to focus on is keeping that new grass alive through the summer months. And you might want to get a fertilizer that focuses more on root development rather than top growth. When it comes to new grass, root development is more important than top growth, as top growth will naturally happen in the fall. And once that fall weather is here, you start your fall prep program. But we can save that talk for another video. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this video. So, seeding in the springtime. You can either choose to do it or not to do it. But, if you do have some failures in seeding in the spring, understand that we can fix it in the fall. Now, speaking about springtime, it's almost time to start cutting your grass. You're ready to mow, but is your lawnmower ready to mow? Check out this video I have on the screen here, where I show you three easy steps to get your lawnmower ready for spring. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I know we just had some snow, but spring is here, and enjoy your day in the lawn.